we will now be making toilet paper with a few simple household objects. The first item you need are stacks of bills, and I know you have them. I mean, these bills here are, this is just a little bit. I composted half of last month, and these are a good household bill cleanup. And if you don't have a hamster to put this in, or animal cages, then the only thing this is good for is compost. And I will be using these bills to make batch one of toilet paper. Most of these bills are the 17,000 envelopes I got in 85 different languages. You could have picked one, picked two. I don't read Cambodian, but I got by with the Russian, English, Spanish, French, Italian, whatever. You didn't need to send me six pages every single time you sent a notification to every member of my family. That was the state of Rhode Island killing the rainforest for insurance purposes. But we needed to get a lot of paper pulp and you never know when this will come in handy. So I'm now grateful for all that extra rainforest in my house. So we got that and I have more upstairs. So if you run low, we'll start making more. This is a pickle bucket. I did have a, a nice clean food grade bucket from the tractor supply store, but I'm gonna use that for food because I got some extra beans this month in honor of the zombie apocalypse. This particular bucket is Hans Pickles, which is left over from the Fall Fest at, at Confredas. And I can't really store food in it because if you smell it, it smells like pickles. And no one loves pickles more than me. They are very, very tasty, but you don't want all your home stored foods smelling like pickles. So right now, step one, we're gonna mash this paper pulp or mix it up into the pickle bucket. And that I think would be a nice option to help the smell of your, your situation. We're gonna mix this up in small batches because I only have a, uh, a tiny screen. So we'll have to do this old school, like one screen at a time. And now I will take that water bucket and dump the water into the pickle bucket. You see the red butt and the green like Christmas. And that is in fact what this is going to be. Toilet paper Christmas. Right now, that paper is soaking up the water. Soaking it up. All right. Oh yeah, that's some pulp there. That's going to be good and mashed up for tomorrow. If there's somebody who wants to test this out first, maybe you're down to your last two ply and you're really concerned about life, you can go ahead and, and do a review for me. I'm going to let that soak for a while and we'll be back for toilet paper part two sometime tomorrow. So yesterday we took all our wonderful bills and we shredded them up into this pickle bucket. You can see what we have. Today we are gonna multitask. I don't like to have things for one purpose only and I don't often make toilet paper. So you will see now this wonderful compost screen. All right, this compost screen is just a couple leftover two by fours and whatever you call that metal mesh there. I'm going to take this pulp and spread it thinly on the screen, which I have forgotten to wash. Now, technically speaking, compost is pretty sanitary and clean because all the, the, the chicken poop from over there, and there you go, the chicken poop, all that chicken poop has been heated and the bacteria and the compost, it's fine. However, technically I probably should have washed this off, but I got so excited about this toilet paper video. I'm gonna call this two ply because it's a little thick here. Let's do an experiment with some one ply over there. In early New England, they used corn husks, but it's not corn season, despite the fact that people keep going into the farm and asking for corn. Uh, corn season is in July. So I got, I'm gonna pat that down there and make that wonderfully compact. It's a little thicker, we'll call that two ply. And heck, let's see. Oh, we'll call that three ply. That's gonna be three ply. I don't know if that's gonna work. That might be a little bit, a little bit extra. So what I will do is we'll just keep on, you know, spreading that thing out there until we've got all these bills double shredded. I'm trying to see if I can identify any of my my bills. Yep, there's an EOB from uh, Health Source Rhode Island. And there we 
go. There's the uh, your neighbors use less energy than you use slob. A uh, little green fleck from National Grid. All right, so we are just getting this stuff out there. Got some two ply. Got some one ply. And we're gonna spread this out and we will uh, come back to it when it's had a chance to dry up. Okay, there you see it. It's all thinly spread out with a little two-ply corner, a three-ply corner, and a one-ply on the left side. And we're gonna go ahead and see that dry up and we'll make little sheets of toilet paper which we can put in a basket in our bathroom for emergencies.